Russian President Vladimir Putin on Wednesday ordered a warship armed with new hypersonic Zircon cruise missiles to be deployed on a mission to the Atlantic and Indian Oceans in what could be a message and warning aimed at the West against escalating in Ukraine. The deployment of the frigate appears intended to make maximum possible public impact, given the announcement was made by Putin himself in a televised conference call with his defense minister, Sergei Shoge. Along with Shoge, Putin addressed Igor Krokmal, commander of the frigate which bears the name Admiral of the Fleet of the Soviet Union Gorshkov, and reminded him the ship, while on mission, is armed with Zircon hypersonic weapons, again in a coordinated message which unveiled the deployment to the public for the first time. Quote, this time, the ship is equipped with the latest hypersonic missile system, Zircon, which has no analogs, Putin said. I would like to wish the crew of the ship success in their service for the good of the motherland. The ship armed with Zircons is capable of delivering pinpoint and powerful strikes against the enemy at sea and on land. Shoge had responded to the Putin announcement. The defense chief also stressed the Zircon is undefeatable, able to evade any anti-air defense system in the world due to its purported ability to fly at nine times the speed of sound. And according to the Telegraph, it's already making its way into the Atlantic, based on publications Wednesday reporting that the warship was armed with new hypersonic cruise missiles on a training mission that went past Britain to the Atlantic and Indian Oceans and the Mediterranean. And all this follows last year's test launches of SARMAT, an intercontinental missile capable of carrying nuclear warheads, launches which were confirmed in highly publicized videos. And meanwhile, the Kremlin has repeatedly warned the West not to get more d- deeply involved in Ukraine. At a moment, the U.S. administration has authorized Patriot anti-air defenses to be transferred to Kiev. However, Washington has sought to claim that no American troops will be manning the Patriot batteries, but it will be taking some time, at least six or more months, for Ukrainian personnel to be trained on the Patriots' operation. So what are your thoughts? Are you concerned about this? Leave them again in the comments below and share our reports. For TNS, Texas News Studio, Mark Myers. Talk to you soon at another report. See you then.